Hey, what's up, Santi here. Let me tell you what happened today. I was scrolling through Twitter and I saw this post by Taylor. Just realized that Twitter is basically a public set of and implementation. And I was like, what are you talking about, Taylor? I don't know what you mean, but I like what you're saying. So, you know, for those of us that are fans of set of like nerds like us that just love this word, that's how I liked it. <laughs> you know, so this thought really made me wonder and I started reading what people were saying about it and George said like, yeah, but there's no links, right? And I, I thought the same. I wasn't even going to come and like, hey, tell her, what are you talking about? But then I was like, okay, now let's try to open our minds and see, let's see what people are saying. Let's see if there's anything I can resonate with this. And then I found Will's post that said, try Twimix. It's what you're looking for. And I was like, Okay, <laughs> and I followed the trail and it took me here and I was like, okay, like, <laughs> what am I doing with my day so far? So then I said, okay, what can I lose? I'm just going to install this thing and I went for it. And then I stumbled here and read a bit about what's going on that I got tired of reading. And then I was like, okay, let's actually try this out. So I went back to Twitter, back to this post. And now I have this nice sidebar to the right, Tweemix. And it does a couple of really cool things. Like if you're in a particular tweet like this, then if you go for something like quote tweets, you can see how many other people have tweeted about it and what their thoughts are about it. Yes, you could do that by clicking here, but let's be honest, whoever clicks in there, like it's so annoying. So I was like, okay, what, this thing is awesome, but I still don't get it. So I kept exploring it. I went to the main page and I started playing with it, right? So here in the sidebar, you can see random highlights. You can see recent hits. So what has gone popular out of the people that I follow some really cool stuff. I found this really awesome thread that I really, really enjoyed by Steven. Awesome stuff, man. And again, I could see things such as quote tweets. So people that have retweeted this with quote tweets, then you can see awesome things such as our conversation. What are the things that I've said that Steven has replied to, the things that we've talked about anywhere across Twitter. And I'm like, okay, that's super helpful. Like, so there's ways to achieve things like that with advanced search, which if you're not familiar with in Twitter is whenever you just write anything here, then you can write advanced search and you can fill in this stuff, but honestly, it's just so annoying that I never do it. But yeah, then I started exploring stuff and you can see interesting things such as on this day, all tweets from the day, but in previous years, and I started discovering some really random stuff that I really enjoyed. This nice post by Elizabeth and I can be like, oh yeah, I've talked to Elizabeth before somewhere. And here are some things that we exchange just in general, like on Twitter conversations, which is something pretty hard to find, especially this easy. and. Yeah, tons of amazing features that I'm really, really enjoying. If you click in here, it'll give you a couple of ideas of what you can search on. You can search just for yourself, like things that you've said in the past very easily from one user to another and so on. One that I like is you can just filter by people that you follow that maybe have talked about a set of casting, right? And then you have results just like that, super quick, very easy. If you go to someone's page, it would automatically, as you click, filter by user, meaning that now you can very quickly search anything that the minimalists have said. I'm sure they talked about philosophy, so let's take a look at that. There it is, I was hoping for more, what happened? <laughs> but yeah, either way, you get the idea, right? And from here, this becomes your new search bar. Like, let's just search for Naval. I'm sure he has some more stuff on philosophy. There we go. And yeah, there you have it. A lot more stuff on that. And you can just start digging down the rabbit hole. So for instance, I don't know, let's go to this one. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. So then I can see quote tweets, what people have quote replied out of that. And then I can keep digging deeper into this rabbit hole. I can also go into my list. So this is a list that you can create on Twitter, either list that others have created or that I've created myself. And then here I can just filter by list and see anything about Marcus Aurelius. Yeah, here's some stuff on that. Pretty cool. Please reading, just on the act of reading. I'm sure there's tons of stuff. Jordan Peterson, of course. <laughs> and yeah, there you have it. Pretty cool stuff. You can go to your own profile and search for, I don't know if you're canceled. And if you're not canceled, you should have no results. But, <laughs> you know, kidding aside, uh, I'm sure I've said the word productivity a thousand times if I spell it correctly. And yeah, there you have it, all the stuff on that, right? Or again, from here, I can just go to Obsidian and see, and I can go there and find our conversations, pretty cool stuff. So that's basically the idea. I think it's really clever. It's very useful. It finally is making Twitter a nice place to be where it's more than a social media, but rather a place where you can search in the archives of what people have said in the past because people have done really good threads on Twitter, really good stuff that you can now finally search, right? So that's the whole idea of it. It's kind of like a nice way to find connections, to filter down the information from people that you follow, from 
lists and all types of topics. It's really clever, it's very nice stuff. So I was just checking it out and apparently in case you're interested, it seems like it is free while it's in beta or vita, <laughs> whatever, however you want to pronounce that. So this I just found by searching the, the main page. We're just talking about the pricing and in here it says that it's free while it's in beta, but then later there might be a monthly fee. So yeah, definitely take advantage of it while it's free. See if you like it, pretty cool. I'm actually using Memex, another app for highlighting this stuff, which is pretty cool because it's called Twimex. If you're not familiar with what a Memex is and you want to learn more about that, I made a video about it, so definitely check it out. I'll leave it in the, you know, you know where to find it or in the description. <laughs> The creator name is Joffrey, so obviously shout out to you, Joffrey. Incredible work, so happy to have found this. Honestly, I didn't know what I was getting myself into when I started following all the links, but I'm really happy I did. And I think you're doing an incredible job, Joffrey, on this. I am looking forward to see how this tool keeps growing. I believe it's finally making Twitter a useful place <laughs> or a useful place to be in, you know? I'm not a huge fan of social media, so honestly, things like this finally make some social medias, like Twitter in this case, useful. This will definitely get me more into following the right people, so if you do have any suggestions of cool people to follow, whether that's in productivity, philosophy, or anything you really recommend, definitely let me know in the comments. I hope you found this video useful. I've started to discover quite a few interesting tools for Twitter, so if you want me to make more videos about that, definitely let me know. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!